What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we don't have the BMW X3 behind me, but we have the trailer that the BMW X3 and all of our other builds always go on. While the BMW X3 is over there at the subframe shop at Parker's getting work done, we're gonna go ahead and make sure once it's back from the frame machine, we can have a trailer that looks presentable because as you can see behind me, our trailer has had a beating. It is a tilt deck, which I really love about this trailer, but we're gonna go ahead and rebuild this trailer in one short episode just to throw you guys some content out there so you guys can see what we do on an ongoing basis. And so when you guys see the X3 on the new looking trailer, you guys don't wonder what will happen if they get a new trailer. So let's go ahead without further ado and get to work on this trailer and get this thing, all these rotted boards out of here and replace with some brand new ones. So right off the back, you can see right here where all the boards, I mean, there's actually, that's about a foot and a half of a hole this wood is all rotted. I could actually move this and probably, oh, there you go. Break that right off. And yeah, I really like this trailer, like I said, because it's tilt deck. So all you got to do is move that lever. The whole thing comes down. You don't have to pull out any of the ramps. I've got the laptop here. Don't, never mind the laptop because we are actually bidding at some auctions at the same time. And my whole way of doing this is I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut the angle iron from here. They got some welds here, one, two, and three. And we're just going to cut these out, unscrew two rows of bolts, which you can see one, two, three, and just goes this way across. And there's also another row that's over there. And that's it. And my whole theory is once this is cut out, we can undo the screws and just slide it out this way instead of trying to get a jack underneath and bend the wood and what everybody else does. I think this is the easiest way possible. And then we can just go ahead and re-weld that. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead, actually head over to Lowe's to go grab some lumber. We got all the screws knocked out of there. We got the truck running. Let's go hitch up that trailer. The stuff is still stuffed in there, so nothing's gonna fly out. And on top of that, we're gonna put the wood right on top and strap it down. So let's go grab our wood, come back, start pulling the old ones out and putting the new ones in.
Just like that, we got the new deck in there. We have to do one cut on one of the woods right over there to get the cut all the way through. Using that right there, and we just ripped right through it. The Milwaukee just powered right on. Now we gotta go ahead and put our new screws in there. These are also uh, pierced through metal screws. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace all those screws that are there and put the brand new ones in and we are all done. Get that welded up, 100% complete. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see behind me, we got the trailer all done, all the screws are in there and everything else. The only one thing that's left is we're gonna have to go ahead and get that angle iron piece welded on. I don't have a welder here, so we're gonna go see our good friend Homer, get that thing welded on, shouldn't be a couple tacks, and I'll take you guys along for the journey for that as well. But for now, we gotta go ahead and clean up this mess that we have on our hands. As you guys can see, we have the old wood on my tractor over there. We also have some wood that I disposed of, uh, just cut it up with the Milwaukee and just ripping right through it. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that in our burn pile and i'll go ahead take you guys tomorrow take you guys along for the ride and you guys will see the finished product once after it's welded we put some paint on it and this trailer restoration is all completed Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. We're gonna go ahead and take the trailer down to our good friend Homer to go ahead and get that section welded on for us. After that, we are all completed. So let's go ahead and hop on the truck. We got that thing already loaded and get this thing all finished up.
Alrighty guys, so we just picked up the trailer back from Homer's. He did an amazing job. We even went ahead and actually fixed a couple other things like the handle that was bent and also the uh, trailer jack that was also, uh, you know, a little bit cockeyed. We got everything fixed, everything done, and he bent it back using his arms. There you go. The man's almost 74 years old, guys. Well, 75. He's going to turn 75 and... Uh, he is still going at it. Really good guy, lots of experience. He actually fixed our John Deere for us as well. And on top of that, guys, $25 later, that was it. And that was a great deal. We went ahead and gave him a little bit extra because that is way too less of work for $25 and the man's got a lot of skill. So we're gonna head back home, get this thing actually uh, painted wherever he welded it so don't rust out and we're one step even closer to completion. We made it back and now we got actually everything all here. All we need is a can of paint to go ahead and just mist over our welds over there so they don't rust. And that is it guys. So let's go ahead and jump straight to it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we got actually everything all ready to go, got that all welded back up, all the old woods out, all the new woods back in, and our trailer's ready to go ahead and hit the road. So now we can actually jump back onto our build that we're doing right now, which is the X3 BMW, and we're going to go ahead and pick that one back up, and we actually got a trailer that looks decent and is not all boards flaking, breaking apart and all that. But if you guys like this whole video, smash that thumbs up button. If you have something you wanna say, drop it down in the comments. And also guys, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>